What's going on guys? My name is ATF Cobra and today I wanted to do a performance review of my GTX 670. I'm also going to be doing a performance review of my FX 8150. Um, as well, as you guys can see on the top right, you'll see the little counter, which is basically my FPS that I'm getting, and you can see um, what I have currently um, set for the stats. Now, I have everything turned off, but uh, everything on ultra presets, but um, just everything turned off, and this is how I like to play. The reason why I like to play like this, and this is actually a pretty nice tweak um, for this graphics card, is because it gives you the best um, overall performance for the card. Um, while you know maintaining that high resolution I mean you do want to play with some settings on but um, sometimes you get that mouse lag here's the uh, picture of the GTX uh, 670 that's what it looks like that's what that's what actually I have there's different versions of it MSI you know everybody should know all these um, different versions as well he's a little um, uh, lower view as well of the graphics card now here's some stats of the overall performance you can get on um, these are not the settings I'm running I'm running on 1080p um, and ultra settings, um, you know, what everything and my actual FOV is at 75, so it's a little bit different. Now, these are at 20, 2560 resolution, those are you know a little bit different. That, that's your max settings, you know, that's where you're gonna take this game onto another dimension, which this card can do, you know, fairly well, as you guys can see in the picture. And if you guys want to rewind, you can take a look at the picture again. Overall, so let's dive deep into it, let's go on a performance on how this card handles. Um, you know, can you run it stock? Can you uh, overclock it? Yes. Um, do you want to run it stock? Not really. If you want that extra boost or the extra um, FPS when you're playing Battlefield 3 or when you're playing highly intensive games, you're going to want to, um, you know, at least boost it up just a little bit. Now, um, the reason why I say this is because you're going to get, you're going to jump from average frames of 62 to average to 70. Uh, to about 70 frames which is a lot better than um, you know what you would expect now most maps don't play the same you're not gonna get around those same FPS's I can show you different maps but um, definitely know your frames are gonna be a little bit different especially on the new maps with the really uh, intensive graphics that um, you know it does take to render these games um, as long along with the player uh, models and you know there's a lot of things that go into it that actually bring this card down but for the price this is a pretty damn good card i mean i have no complaints to this day i you know i've went through so many different cards i went through a um radeon xfx 7770 i went to two of those i went to a 560 ti um two 560 ti's and those are graphics card one doing it for me i wanted a smooth game a fast fresh and uh you know as you guys can see here that's how i like to run things i, I wanted everything smooth and fast and I wasn't getting those frames with those graphics cards. Now the GTX 670 does its job and does its job well, especially for the price that um you know it is priced at of yeah you know, about 400. It still be should still be around 400 dollars. Now there are another a lot of new other cards that are out in the market right now, such as the 650 and the 660. And I'm not too sure how they um actually stock up uh, to the GTX uh, 670, um, but you know from overall from reading a lot of these forms it does look like it it, it kind of gets you around where you want to get for you know the price ranges that they do have but you know I haven't tried it so personally I can't really tell you guys you know I'd like to you know more go on uh, experience than rather than just reading or seeing or watching you have to experience these things for yourself sometimes to so be able to know if you're going to like it or not but if you're on a budget strictly on a budget and you want to um, you know buy a decent graphics card 650 660 should be enough to render and run get battlefield 3 you might have to tweak the settings a little bit might do a guide on that but i could definitely do a guide on the gtx 6, 6, 670 on what works and uh, like i said average frames for me are about 70 um i tweaked the gra i tweaked it a little bit with eva precision or whatever and i think it's um i tweaked it just a little bit i didn't tweak it too much let me actually take a look at um what I did tweak it to, but with Eva Precision, I did tweak up the uh, graphics or the GPU clock offset about 58 megahertz, and um, and that's that was about it. And then uh, the fan speed I did um, increase as well, um, and that's only because you have to keep this card cool. You don't want it running, you know, extremely hot, and you don't want you know <laughs> to burn out your card. But so, anyways, if you guys are going to overclock your graphics cards, be sure to do it the right way. Read about it, know. Um, before you take the risk look at that guy flying over there 
But yeah, as you guys can see, I'm running um, a lot of frames in this game. It's like uh, over 100 sometimes I'll run in the middle. And I'm still running on ultra settings just with some of the um, better looking, you know, um, settings on. And which is pretty good. I mean, as you guys could tell in the video, it's pretty decent. You know, this is playable. This is watchable. This is, um, you know, all great. And it's all for a really great price. I mean, I would definitely take a two 670s over a 680 or 690 any day um, just because I'm familiar with it I don't want to pay that price range or the price of a 680 which is just I mean it's a I could pay for a graphics card but I definitely don't know if I have enough money to or enough you know of my resources if I want to put enough of my resources into a 690 which is just ridiculous I mean it is you do get the bang for the buck but at the same time there are the, the the 680 is almost close to it the 670s are almost close to it and if you do buy it too they're going to be as strong enough to run your games um you know just like a 690 now if you do look in the market if you go guys go to new egg or if you go to amazon this is where you can actually purchase a lot of your graphics card for not dirt cheap but around cheap you know kind of cheap you know you can get my graphics card right now used for like 352 which is not bad or 345 there's a lot of prices that are um, actually out there and for a 650 um, you're looking you know those prices are actually you know more favorable guys uh, that are still in high school or if you don't have a decent job that can afford all these graphics cards you're looking around you know maybe about 120 or 130 depending on where you buy your card um if you're buying it from Best Buy I believe the 650 is around 150 but uh, other than that this video is just about wrapping up as you guys can see, you could tell my performance that I was getting if you were paying attention to the right cor uh, corner. You'll see my FPSs that I was getting now. If you didn't see what settings I was running, um, you can rewind to the beginning of the video. I do show, um, you know, and you can pause and you can see my settings. I turned everything off, but ultra settings, everything ultra, and I hate motion blur because you can feel the mouse lag when you do have all these settings all on. And once you turn them off, you can notice how smooth and better the game runs. I mean, the graphics uh, wise with everything else turned on, uh, you know, it just, it doesn't look that much better and it's not that much noticeable, but just having everything on ultra, um, definitely is a really great thing and being able to run over 100 frames, like here I'll hit another 100 frames and it's really great, it's, that's why I highly recommend you guys uh, go with this card and uh, there are other cards, there are uh, a little bit cost effective, but you're not going to get as good as the performance as I'm getting right now. Um, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Uh, be sure to leave a like and leave your constructive uh, comments below as well. It's been your boy ATF Pro, but check out my channel for more content. I'm going to be reviewing the 8150 uh, as well. It's a really great uh, CPU, um, and I haven't had no problems really. And I've had my computer for quite some time. I believe I bought it in March, um, and then I upgraded it a ton. So, uh, yeah, other than that, thank you guys for watching. Peace.